Google Classroom is amazing for teaching and learning because we can put assignments and have a workflow with our students. What you're going to be looking for is the plus button in the bottom right hand corner. From here, this is where we can do everything and you will see create an assignment. When we create assignments, we can give it an assignment title. We can also give it some instructions. I can give it a due date, or I also don't have to give it a due date at all. I can also do something called a topic. These are very handy later on if we want our Google Classroom to be searchable. So perhaps I'll be creating a topic for essay writing. I also have the ability to upload a file if I have something from my uh, computer, my hard drive. I'm able to add something from my Google Drive. What's really handy about this is I do have a recent feature, which means I don't have to do searching. So here's my informative essay roadmap hyperdoc. I can also add a YouTube video. I can search from right here, or if I happen to know the URL, like I've already searched my YouTube video, I can simply copy that and I can paste it. I can see the video I'm looking for and I can add that. And I can also add links. Perhaps I went on to to learn, found an essay map that I want kids to be able to practice. I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to add the link into my Google Classroom. We've created a playlist for learning of self-contained information so that students can have any time anywhere learning and be able to self-pace through. I can assign that right now. I can also schedule when I'd like that to be assigned. Perhaps I'm working during a prep. Or I can also save it as a draft and come back to it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assign that. And now if I share my student screen as well, I will update that. And I'm going to be able to see that I have assigned it here. My one student is not done. And on this side, I can open the assignment. The great thing is, is that when students work from Google Classroom, it will also name things for the students. They can create and add additional documents if they'd like. They can add links. They can add files. So if I was to create an essay to go along with this, what it'll do is it will create that Google Doc for me. It'll give it the title and notice how it puts the name on the account. When students turn it in, it locks down the assignment from them. And it will immediately update for the teacher showing that that student is in fact done and they can go ahead and they can mark that. What if you want to have more than one teacher in your classroom? Under the about section, I can go ahead and I can invite another teacher via their email. This is great if we perhaps have a co-teacher, grade partner, learning coach, tech coach, somebody else in your school. And they can do everything that you can do except for delete the actual classroom. They'll be invited. Once they accept that, they are now a co-teacher in the classroom with you.